Welcome back, I'm glad you're joining me today. For this drawing, we're gonna be drawing a Pokemon Squirtle. So here's some of the tools I'm gonna to be using. I'm gonna have a HB pencil, an ink pen, a Sharpie, some colored markers that match the Squirtle colors, and then a couple cool grays, 20% uh, and 40%. So if you have this stuff, that's great. If not, you can use colored pencils or just color the Squirtle in any color that you like. We're gonna draw the proportions so that we know that it's gonna fit inside of our drawing space. So I'm just gonna make just a small circular shape for the head up over here, okay? And this is just kind of to block things in. Then we'll do another larger shape down below something like that, okay? And I'm using a pencil because then we can erase our lines that we don't want. So there's gonna be a larger circle here. We're gonna have kind of like a shell over there. And there's gonna be kind of like one leg out in this direction and then another one over here. And we'll have our arms like that. So I think this is good. It might be a little bit lower on my page than I want, but it's quite all right. Now that you have things blocked in really lightly, what we can do is I'll start with the head of our Squirtle. So I'm gonna start with our shape here and we'll draw the lower part of the head. And this, this part here is gonna actually extend out a little bit. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna round this up like that. And then right about here and here, if you have a straight line across, this will come in on the left side, will come in a little bit. And then we're gonna come almost straight up, we're gonna come up like this, and then we're gonna round the top of the head. And then as you get over here, this will kind of come a little bit flatter. So see how this is flat right here? So we'll have a little flat spot here and a flatter spot there. And the rest of it can, can be rounded, maybe with a little bit of a flat spot down below. Okay, now I'll draw in the eye on this side. So I'm gonna come to the right a little bit and we're gonna stop right about here. We're gonna leave a little extra space for the forehead. Coming down at an angle, come like this, and then you can round that corner then we can put an eyeball in place here like this. And then we'll just do like a little highlight over there. Then on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. So about right about here, this is where our second eye is gonna be, the other eye. So we're gonna come over like this and then we're gonna round the corners and then we're gonna come up and this will be roughly in about the same spot that this eye is in, okay guys? So we're gonna come to right about here. So we're gonna come up and around that and come back down. And then we're gonna do a pupil almost in the center. We're gonna go off center just a little bit. We'll do something like that. And then we're gonna show a little bit of white on this side. So we're gonna come up like that and then we have a highlight here and I'll just do another highlight right there. And then we're gonna do a different color up above here. So I'm just gonna do a line like that. So the lower part of the eye is gonna be a pinkish color and up here it's gonna be a little bit darker purplish pink. Now we'll create these little lines right here and here. And then you can see I've actually extended the eye just a little bit on this side so that it kind of pops, the eye actually kind of like pops out a little bit, okay? Now go back over here and we're gonna come roughly about where this point is here, this peak, and we're gonna do a line over. And if you wanna draw this right across, you can. And we can come like this. And then as you get to where this eye corner is here, we'll come and we'll wrap this up a little bit. Now, right where this eye is here, we're gonna come down and then we're gonna do the same like right about over here. 
So this spot and this spot, we're gonna actually come down like this, and then we're gonna come right back up like that and over. So that'll be the mouth split right there. Then we'll do two little nostril shapes. We'll do a circle here and a circle there. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the, the belly part. So we're gonna come actually over here just a little bit and almost like on the right side of this peak, just right about here. Then I'm gonna come down and just round the belly like this. And then I'm gonna continue this line. I'm gonna kind of have it come out a little bit further for where the back's gonna be. And then this is gonna come right in here. So we're really close like that. So it's gonna be the back of the turtle's shell like this. Now what we can do is draw this arm over here. So we're gonna come close to the head, the lower part of the head, and I'm gonna draw this curve. And it's gonna come over like this, and we're gonna come kind of at an angle like that, slightly at an angle. So we're gonna come down like this, and then we're gonna have a thumb that points and this is gonna be almost like in the center, if you have your circle here, it's gonna be almost like in the center of that circle. You're gonna come up, and then you're gonna flatten out a little bit, and then we're gonna round this corner and join back up, right like this. Then we'll put a couple fingers that come up, so these they're like little upside down V shapes, and we'll do a little bit smaller one right there. Then I'm gonna come over to the left. We'll draw the left arm now. So right about here, we're gonna curve this, and then we're gonna point like this, and we're gonna do a shape that comes down. So it's gonna be like a V, a sideways V. And I'm gonna have another one that's a smaller V shape. And then we'll just come down like this and then we'll hook this it's almost like there's a little elbow there we'll hook that up and then we'll put a v shape or an l shape that points to the left and we'll go something like that okay now let's draw this leg over here so we want the top of the leg to be about here so this leg is going to go off at an angle like that to the right. So if this is the top, we're gonna curve this and it's gonna be rounder at the top. It's gonna get narrower like this at the bottom. See how it's like narrower here and this gets like really wide like that. And then what we'll do is if this is the center right here, I'm just gonna move my line over a little bit. If that's the center, We'll have like a V shape like this, and then we'll do a smaller one that comes out this way, and another one that comes out to the left, like that. Then we're gonna come over and draw this leg. So draw a line horizontally from the top of this leg, and that's where our other leg's gonna kind of pop from behind the, sh the belly. And we're gonna round this like that and it's going to stop right about here so if you draw another horizontal line but it could stop a little bit sooner and then we're going to hook this and point to the left like that that'll be one toe then we're going to draw another toe now if you want to come back over here before you finish this so you know how far to space these we'll go from here, we'll come right about here. So you wanna to try to catch this thickness here and do a similar thickness over here. So we'll hook this down like this. And the third toe will come down and then it'll come all the way up like that. Awesome. Now for the shell, we're gonna start right about here and I'm gonna do a curve 
like this. And if you can imagine this kind of keeps going and then it's gonna curve back this way. And then we're gonna do a curve like this. Okay, so that's gonna be the lower part of the shell. And then we're gonna come almost to where this intersects the head, right about here. And we're gonna kind of follow this, this snake shape that we drew right here. So we're gonna come like this and we're gonna to try to not hit this arm. We wanna be above the arm right about here. So we're gonna come like that and we're gonna go above the arm. And then we're just gonna snake this down like that. And then we're gonna come into the leg right like this. Then we're gonna have our shell like that. And then from the shell, we can do two lines that kind of curve towards the center of this curve right here. So if this is the center of the back, you can kind of curve this line like that. And then somewhere about here, you can kind of come down and just draw another line like this. And then for the tail, we shall go just above the shell right here. And we're gonna go out to the right. So we're gonna come down and quickly come up and just draw this round shape like that. And then right here, this will just come and connect into there, just like that. And then over here, it's kind of like a spiral shape. So you can round this and then this will come and just spiral in like that. Okay. Then the last thing we want to do is we'll draw the details on the belly. So I'm going to draw this curve right here. We'll draw almost in the center and we're going to do it left of the finger somewhere about here. So it's going to be like the middle of the belly, but we're going to do a curve like this. Okay, so it's kind of similar to this shape right here, like that. And then over here, we'll draw a shape that curves in this direction, like that. And then we'll have one in the middle right here, just underneath this thumb. So we'll do another shape like that. And then at the base here, we'll come over to the left and then we'll go over to the right that and we can do the same over here we'll come down and then this will come up like that and then over here this will go up and this will come down like that. so that's our turtles belly design right over there and that's it for our pencil drawing for the next step I'm gonna grab my ink pen or you can grab a Sharpie, whichever you prefer. And we're just gonna outline our Squirtle Pokemon shapes. So I'll grab my eraser and just start erasing my pencil lines. That'll clean up the drawing so that I can color this in afterwards. All right, now I have a clean outlined drawing. I can start by coloring in my Pokemon Squirtle. Well, I had a lot of fun drawing this Pokemon Squirtle for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out some of my other Pokemon tutorials that I did. You're gonna like how those turned out too. They're really cool and fun to watch. All right, until the next time, I'll see you then. Have a good one, bye-bye.